Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can apply basic form validation. So why I am putting a basic word here? The reason is in a form validation, there is a lots of uh, validation. Like you can apply a uh, validation for password, name, pin code, or credit card number, email, mobile number, phone number. There, there is a lots of kind of validation. But in this video, we will take only two fields. Uh, and just making a small form like a login form and we will apply the validation on it so that you can just get the basic idea that how we can apply uh, validations in react.js right so now these are the points for this video first of all we will make a component and html form then we will define states and apply validations and at the last i will ask you a question you can attempt this question in comment box if you want right so and this is my insta account if you just want to join me on insta so now let's start with the code first of all i am just going to jump on my code and let's uh, create a new component and let's say my component name is login.js now let's uh, import react here so just write here import react from react and we also need a use state because uh, there is a lots of uh, use of state that's why we will just my bad we will uh, use a uh, state hooks right and uh, now define a function with the name of login and uh, here we can just uh, define a uh, small text for a moment then we will just go for the more text and just simply put here login right and uh, after that just simply put here export default login great and just go to the app.js put here import login from and uh, this is my path uh, for a uh, login component so just import a login right and now replace this login with the h1 tag and let's check out the output for this this is my output screen login is working here so this is uh, fine for a moment and now let's uh, just define a small form right let's take a form close it take some input fields let's say uh, type is text and placeholder can be like uh, and oh my bad enter username or user id right that's great and uh, let's define one one more field for password and just put here enter user password but you will just find that the both fields are in a single okay this is my previous password so you can just ignore it for a moment right and uh, these are in the same line so we can use a style here also but uh, for the time shorting i am just going to use here some br tags like this because this is not uh, about a style so we can just focus only on uh, you can say that uh, logic right so both fields are here now let's define a button also just put here a button and just write here a login and uh, button type can be uh, submit now uh, you just uh, know that whenever we will click on it you will find that this is refreshing but uh, in a single page application especially in react or angular we cannot make a refresh kind of things right so what we can do we can just make a function and call it on a on submit so just write here on submit and just put here login handler right and def define this function here function login handler and uh, let's just import a event from here and simply write here e dot prevent default like this and now let's try is it refreshing or not so whenever we are clicking on it 
Okay, this is again refreshing. Let me check. Actually, I just uh, made a spelling mistake here. Now this should not be refreshed. Now you can see that this is not getting refreshed. So that's all. Okay, so uh, now what do you want to do? I I just want to define some states here. So just simply put here uh, some state like const and this track a state. Just use here a use state and by default value can be blank for uh, user and set user right and the similar thing we can just make a three more state one for user err right and by default the error will be false again we can just define here password and uh, set password and uh, just use here uh, password err and just use here set password with the capital T and uh, the value is again false by default right so now what we need to do we just want to make a own change event and want to update this state right so just simply put here own change event here and on change what we are going to do just uh, make a function user handler right and define it here uh, like this just make a function user handler and it will have an event like e and now let's make a console I just want to show that what we are getting inside it so just use your console dot one just put here e dot target dot value and we will able to get the value of this field so now let's see so okay so just uh, check out here whenever i'm just going to type something here like anil when we are just getting this value console right so i'm just going to put here a condition if uh, okay just take make this uh, complete uh, property inside take it inside an item let's uh, just put here item dot length is uh, less than 4 or less than 3 whatever you want to put and just then simply put here user error true so just uh, make it true right and else if uh, we have a value f uh, more than this then we can just simply make it false right that means our error will be false and everything is good to go all right so just make it format now what we can do we can just make a span here right like this and uh, i can just put here invalid data or something right and now you can see that this is permanently right but i just want to make it on a condition so what we can do here just take it in it inside a next line and i put condition here condition like uh, set sorry this is not a set just a user error is this is true then we can just show this validation else we can just show a null right and uh, let's come back here and just try to write something here it's i'm just going to put here anil still this is invalid till length four and on a fourth this error will be gonna removed here and uh, we can just also style here with the red color green color whatever we want to put here right all right so the validation for one field is great now let's apply this validation on a second field so let's uh, copy this uh, field again and put it uh, in with the password and just put here password error and uh, here let's define a one more function um, similar to a user handler we can just make it a password handler like this right and uh, let's call this password handler on change 
like this right and again we have a uh, item e here and uh, here we can just set here set password error here as well as here all good now let's see we are able to just get this password here or not so whenever you can just find that <coughs> sorry guys i'm losing my voice so whenever i will just uh, put here a uh, some uh, characters and the character limit is, is less than 4 then you can see that we are getting a validation here right so that's fine okay so now what we need to do the uh, the both fields are working fine with a validation so what we can do here now let's get this data inside a state whenever the data is working fine right so now what we can do just set user and uh, put here item <coughs> sorry again and uh, with a similar way we can just put here set password and just put here false uh, sorry put here item and we don't need this console now so that we can just remove it so everything is fine now so let me just open it in a console why in a console because uh, uh, there is predefined data is actually just can be uh, misunderstand understand you so here you can see that whenever I will just put here something till four character these are invalid working fine but there is still an issue the issue is here I will just tell you if I'm just going directly logged in then there is a no validation without putting here some keyword right so we have to put the validation on the login button also so what we can do here in a login button which is here we can just simply put here if uh, user dot length is less than four or password these are the states right state names username and password here you can see that and password is uh, less than four right then we can just simply show here alert uh, invalid data and here we can simply put here uh, alert all good right so now let's check it again whenever i will just make it refresh well whenever i will click on it then you can see that the invalid data and uh, if i just put here some characters and putting it on then still we have invalid data right and uh, now let's put up name properly like anil and password one two three four and five still this is invalid let me check what's wrong with it mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, yep i just got that issue because here we just need to set a user set password right not to error and uh, again we can just uh, refresh it now invalid and now this is valid after four character and here in initial time this is invalid but after four character this is working fine on login now it will just tell that all good that means work, everything is working fine so i just made a one more mistake here which is i just need to put here span i just put here spa i don't know even i don't like spas right so we can just uh, put here a span so everything is working fine so that's all good and uh, i will just make a one more video and uh, this video will be go for uh, advanced validation and we will use any library for that because you can see that validation is working fine but we have to just add a lots of code here right so uh, we will just use any library that can just provide us uh, some you can see that uh, already predefined logic and we just try to we just need to write minimal code and we can just uh, do it very quickly right so everything is fine so now it's time to my interview question so my question is how we can combine the both of data like password and uh, login and uh, we can just send to the api in 
uh, for this logged in a user right so you just try to uh, write this logic in your code if you just want to do and the whole code is given in the github and the github account link is given in the description box so bye bye take care and stay tuned and if you have question you can ask me on insta or on uh, uh, comment box so bye bye take care god bless you